with all these Call of Duty rumors and leaks dropping for Black Ops 4 or the Treyarch game that's going to release in 2018, I thought, why not go ahead and make a 2018 Call of Duty wish list? Now, this is not going to be a scripted video because I don't do those, fam. It's just going to be off the top of the dome on what I hope the 2018 Call of Duty is going to be. Now, as you, if y'all didn't go through the leaks or anything like that, there's thousands of videos out there talking about these leaks. I'm pretty sure you already know all the leaks. But in a sense, it is leaked that Call of Duty 2018 is going to be a modern game. Treyarch is finally going to make their first modern game in this series. I, I, at least I hope this is all like like I said this is speculation and uh, rumors this is nothing confirmed yet but it is said that it's going to be a modern warfare s game now going into this this, this is going to be Treyarch's first modern warfare game or, or first modern call of duty game and I have big hopes for this. This is a, like I'm really excited for this game because this, like I said, it's for Treyarch's first modern game. This is what I was hoping the 2018 Call of Duty video was gonna be. If y'all watch my 2018 Call of Duty video, I've already talked about what I hope to be. But I was hoping and praying that Treyarch would make a modern game for the first time ever in their developer cycle. They've been Vietnam War. They went past. They went future. Now it's their turn to give their shot at the modern series. Now doing this, I feel as though, like I said, Treyarch is my favorite Call of Duty developers. They, they, I feel as though they put the most time and effort into their games. Even though Sledgehammer, they, they do okay too. World War II is not that bad of a game, but at the same time, I feel like Treyarch, they got they're the best Call of Duty developer at this time and point. Just like back in the day, Infinity War used to be the best Call of Duty developers. Now, my wish list for this game consists, I'll start with the first thing. I really hope and pray that Treyarch would do for a Modern Warfare game. The score streaks or kill streaks need to actually kill your enemies. I, I am so tired of every single Call of Duty coming out. And they're focusing on the gunplay, but their score streaks are ass. What brought people to Call of Duty back in 2008, 2007, 2009, 2010, what brought people to Call of Duty were the crazy score streaks and kill streaks that you can rain down on the little noobs once you got them. Once you became a good player on Call of Duty and you got these kill streaks, it was so rewarding to clap somebody's ass with the AC-130, the chopper gunner, the reaper, the... What what else? You got the Blackbird from Black Ops. That chopper gunner was mean in Black Ops too. It was so rewarding to kill people with those score streaks or slash kill streaks until they the noobs started complaining about them being too powerful and they added in spawn protection and then all of a sudden your score streaks and kill streaks are not gonna kill because these noobs got like a half a second of spawn protection and then in that half a second, if you hit one of them, they're literally launching rockets about the sky and blowing you up the sky in, the, in a middle second before your skill, before your kill streak even gets to the map. So, for Call of Duty 2018, Chark, please remove spawn protection from the game. These little noobs, if you get a score streak or kill streak, they you deserve it. They shouldn't let you get that thing. Why do you? Why are you nerfing the kill streak already? Because these noobs let you get that kill streak. Like they should have no protection. You should be able to rain down on those little noobs that let you get that kill streak. And another thing is make sure your kill streaks actually kill, especially the aerial based kill streaks. If I spent in all that time to go on 11 kill gun streak in this game to get the ball turn gunner, it's like a 15 gun streak, fam. Unless you're playing like domination or kill confirmed, you're picking up all the tags as you go. And kill like in TDM to get the ball turn gunner, it is almost a 17 gun streak. You're almost you might as well get the V2 rocket then if you're gonna get a ball turn gunner like. It's dead ass, almost impossible in TDM, but make sure your kill, your kill streaks actually kill. That is the first thing on my wish list. The second thing on my wish list is they've already done it. They've already done it in every Call of Duty. Make sure in this game you remove the panic knife from the game. In this game, they added back the panic knife by putting it on the end of your gun in the infantry division. 
I don't want that panic. I w- I never want to see the panic knife again. Even some people run around with knives. That's okay. The the knife running around with a knife is okay because that's not really the panic knife. That's kind of a game style play. But having that knife on the ed- end of your gun or anything, it, a knife like that, remove the panic knife from the game. The panic knife is not a skill. It's disgusting. Another thing, Treyarch, which y'all already are probably the best at this. Snipers should not be overpowered whatsoever. I, somebody should not be able to pull up with their sniper like it's a fucking shotgun and sh- shoot you from point blank range when the reticle is l- just out of control. They shouldn't be able to tap L2 and R2 at the same time and get a free kill. Sledgehammer. You please make sure you actually have to aim with your snipers. I'm tired of these noobs in World War II just pressing L2 and R2 and you can just get quick scoped. They don't even know how to quick scope. Their finger's not even on the right stick. They just automatically clap you with a sniper. Why is that a thing? I don't understand why that is a thing. This is sounding like a little bit of a rant, but this is just actually my wish list. I'm tired of these noobs using these snipers like they're shotguns. A sniper should be able to sit still on the back of the map like they're supposed to and shoot somebody. I mean, like, quick scoping. It is. It was a thing back in Black Ops. I rather. I like the way that Sledgehammer does their quick scoping. Like you actually have to aim when you use a sniper in the Black Ops games, rather than Sledgehammer and Infinity War, where all you have to do is press L two and R two. Well, actually, it's not even that bad in Infinity War. Actually, you get actually have to aim in Infinity War, but in this game, boy, all you got to do is press that L two R two, and you just got a free kill because you're using a sniper that's like a shotgun. But I digress. Another thing on my wish list, bring back the AC-130. Some of these is going to be mostly killstreak based because killstreaks have a little bit been ass over the years. So bring back that AC-130. I want to see all the big streaks in this game. Give us a wide variety of killstreaks. This is a Mon Warfare game. So you might as well give us all, all the killstreaks in one. I want to see the, the AC-130. I want to see the Reaper. I want to see the, the chopper gunner. I want to see the nuke make a return. The nuke has to be in this game. The nuke, one thing, that is one of the biggest things on my wish list. The nuke has to be in this game. I know Black, well, I know Treyarch is known for not putting like big kill streaks in their game. But if you're going to make a Mon Warfare game, you have to put that nuke in the game, Treyarch. Even if you can get, you, you can make the nuke like a 50, 50 kill streak at least. If it doesn't have to be a gun streak, you can make it like a kill streak and make it a 50 kill streak and then do that. That's probably too crazy. Probably like a 35. I guess 35 would be a good leveling point for a kill streak because back in Monfort 2, it was so easy to get a kill streak. The nuke, it was so easy to get the nuke because you can get it through like kill streaks. So if you can get the nuke through kill streaks in your Modern Warfare game, you might as well make it like a 35 kill streak, and then add in all the biggest kill streaks in the game. Add in the UAV, add in the 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 EMP, the counter UAV, the Reaper, the AC-130, the nuke, the chopper gunner. You can add in like uh whatever whatever like ground based kill streaks. You can add in the Juggernaut. There are so many kill streaks that can be added in this game throughout the years. There is no reason for us to have eight to eight to seven kill streaks in this game. There should be at least fifteen kill streaks in this thing, boy. There should be at least seventeen or fifteen kill streaks in this game, boy. There should not be seven kill streaks in this game, Treyarch. So Another, that that is one of the biggest things on my wish list. There should be a wide variety of kill streaks in the game. As for the weapons, I feel as though Tre- Treyarch is really well known for having balanced weapons. There's not really that much. I can't pick a game. The only game that I remember where there was like a really really overpowered weapon in Char game was the OG Black Ops and that Famas. If y'all remember that Famas boy. You you're not killing anybody that has a Famas. Oh man, it was some cheese. And then I think Black Ops 2 had a couple of uh Black Ops 2 had a couple of like overpower weapons with it. it. Just I don't know. But at the same time I I don't recall anything besides the Famas being hella overpowered in the game. But make sure that we don't have some cheese like the snipers like a class a class of weapons out leveling another class. Like I I remember Black Ops 2 when it first dropped the submachine gun classes were like crazy overpowered overpowering the soul rifle classes they cleaned it up later down the line but 
I don't want nothing like that to happen in this game where you have a class of weapons like basically unusable to another class. Like the old like the assault rifles were basically nothing to the submachine guns when Black Ops 2 first released. So I don't want anything like that. Make sure your game doesn't need patches when it drops like freaking World War Two. Patches that should things that should already be in the game or things that shouldn't be in the game that need to be removed. Make sure your game actually works when it first drops and we have everything like leaderboards and stuff like that. Why why Sledgehammer, what are you doing? No leaderboards in your game. And make sure why and another thing, Sledgehammer took a step back in this game because why does your leaderboard not show your KD? Why does it not show your how many captures and fans you have sometime? Uh, Sled oh my god, I can't wait for Treyarch. And Treyarch we trust. Everybody start using the hashtag and Treyarch we trust fam because they're the only people I trust to bring back the Call of Duty series at this point in time. They are the only people that literally I can think of that can actually bring the series back to what it is. And now that the rumor, now that there's a rumor going around that they're gonna make a modern warfare game as game, I feel as though this could be the best Call of Duty since like Modern Warfare Two. Like, and then you have Modern Warfare Two remastered, rumored to be in the works for next year. Or 2019, shall I say. For 2019, Modern Warfare Remastered 2 to be in the works. I feel as though we could be playing this Modern Warfare Trailer game for the next four or five years. <laughs> no, and maybe we will play the model, the next uh, this trailer game until the next trailer game releases. So we will probably be playing it for the next two years because we cannot trust Infinity Ward. We can't trust Sledgehammer now that we see what they did with this game. The zigzag cheese. And another thing, another thing on my wish list, remove stock remove like the auto stock in the game the infantry division is cheese you can zigzag cross over moonwalk do all kind of stuff remove the auto stock in the game i remember um, i think it was mom for three when they said they're going to take stock completely out the game and just add it in as just it's just there you don't need an attachment anything i don't understand why they did that these zigzagging scuff controller noobs are out here just zigzagging click clacking the controller side to side until they get a free kill that is annoying if you put stock the attachment back in the game i don't care if it's cheese if it's so cheese just use it stop complaining about it i it's it's better to have an attachment rather than everybody just zigzagging around moonwalking and shit like that that is so annoying add stock back in the game please sledgehammer so to clear this up have kill streaks to actually kill. Bring the nuke back in the game. Have balanced weapons at the drop, at, at the start of the game. Make sure your game works when it does release. Have more aerial based kill streaks that actually work. Again, that actually work. And remove spawn protection from the game because there should be no reason for it to be ha for anybody to have spawn protection if you let me get my kill streak i deserve to use that kill streak rather than you little noobs complaining about getting hit by it but thank you all for watching it's i can smell it. remember to like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the video subscribe if you're new like the video if you agree with what i talked about let me know what you're hoping for for the modern warfare tray art game down in the comment section below peace out and have a nice day.